You may hear the word PETA whenever you talk about storage drive interface of computer. I didn't plan this topic but few days before I had to open an old PC and where I saw this interface and I thought why I had never made a video on this. Few months ago I uploaded a video on SETA and you guys showed so much love. But the list of storage drive interface remains incomplete without PETA. So what was PETA, how it looked, how it transferred data, what were its versions and why it was stopped, everything gonna be explained in this video. So let's get started. The Parallel Advanced Technology Attachment, in short, PETA was an interface that was used to connect internal storage drive to computer in 1990s. It was first used in the IBM's computer pieces which was developed by Western Digital and Compaq in 1986. The interface was used for almost all storage devices of that era. At that time, it was called as ATA or IDE which comprises with an 40 or 80 conductors ribbon cable with three female connectors, one male port on the computer motherboard and one male port on the storage drive. As we know that each port or connector has 40 pins but they are actually have a total of 39 pins because the 20th pin is omitted so that anyone can connect it in the right way. Out of three female connectors, one is connected to the computer motherboard and the remaining two can be connected to two different storage drives. That means one IDE cable is able to connect up to two storage devices at a time. This was the first storage interface for personal computers which transferred the data parallelly. The cables have a maximum allowable length of 18 inch for which this interface normally used for the computer's internal storage. In the beginning, this interface was able to transfer data at a speed of 3.3 Mbps and it did support only disk drive which storage size was less than 2.1 GB. But later, as the time passing, different versions of this interface such as ATA1, ATA2, ATA3, etc. were developed with the increased capacity and bandwidth. And in the version of ATA6, which was developed in 2002, its capacity to support drives increased to 144 petabytes. And the data transfer speed became more than 100 Mbps. And so, the drives that complying with the ATA version 6 were marketed as PETA 100 drives. In the version of ATA 7, which was developed in the year 2005, the data transfer speed increased to 133 Mbps. But in the meantime, in 2003, a new type of drive interface of ATA standard was developed called SETA or Serial ATA, which transferred data serially not parallelly. From that time, IDE or ATA has been called as PETA, that is parallel ATA. After introducing of SETA, PETA becomes outdated because it has some disadvantages which are not with the SETA. These are PETA cables, ports or connectors are much more bigger than SETA that occupy large area inside the cabinet make it difficult to connect and also block the airflow which makes the computer system overheat. Unlike SETA, PETA doesn't support hot swapping. It means if we connect a PETA drive to a running PC then it will not work until we restart it. PETA is expensive and consumes more power than SETA. Data transfer speed of PETA is also slower than SETA. Even the latest version of PETA is slower than the first version of SETA. This was all about PETA.